You understand that? Greenlee is mine. Greenlee will always be mine. Uh, We're gonna uh, end this right now. Greenlee is mine. Uh, what you uh, what you will you never do? Take away. Hey, what have you done? Greenlee what is have mine. You done? Greenlee will always be mine. Greenlee will always be mine. The fight with Mr. Lavery didn't kill David. He died of an acute overdose of digitalis. What are you doing here? I thought I'd get an early start. David's funeral was yesterday. Don't you think you should take another you know, day? No, I don't want to think. I just want to get some work done. In the same clothes you wore yesterday? You've been here all night. What do you want me to say, Bianca? My husband is dead. My home is a crime-taped hotel room. My possessions being searched for evidence. I'm grieving in my own way, all right? Okay, you don't have to work, though. I mean, I'm here, Kendall's back. Yeah, you both can't stand me. Fusion is my company, too, and it's my responsibility to make sure it doesn't fall apart, especially since David is the one who helped me save it. He's also the one who Try to help me ruin it, too. <laughs> the story of our life together. What's that? Uh, it was just delivered for you downstairs. Oh, my God. What is it? It's from a storage unit that David kept. Who knew you could be so sentimental, David? Leo. You understand how hard this is for me. What do you think I should do, Leo? Your brother is dead, and I found the murder weapon in your best friend's jacket. <laughs> What's that? I have to go. Greenlee, wait. Would you stop? Please? Greenlee, what do you want? Bianca told me how upset you were. I'm fine. Well, I don't think so. Please just leave me alone. No, what was in your hand? Nothing. Tell me. No. Why not? Greenlee. Uh. Did you tell us? Happy now? This is the drug that was used to kill David. Oh my God, Greenlee, it was you. Leave this alone, Kendall. I don't think so. This is not your problem. I got arrested for helping you, so don't tell me this is not my problem. But tell me what this means. I don't know. David was blackmailing you. You would have done anything to get out of that marriage, including killing him. I didn't kill him. Then what are you doing with Digitalis? <sighs> oh, okay. You found it in his old medical bag, and you used it to spike his drink that night. No, I did not. I mean, I can understand you wanting David dead, but letting Ryan take the fall for it? I wouldn't do that to him. Then what are you doing with the murder you weapon? You don't understand. Well, then make me understand. Just leave this alone. Greenlee, I swear to God, I'm not leaving until you tell me. Do I have to take this to the cops right now? No, you can't. I found it in Ryan's jacket. What? That vial that you're holding? Ryan had it. Oh, my God. I think he did it. Kendall, I think he poisoned David. This is crazy. Ryan? Do you think I'm lying? I don't know what to think. One thing I do know is that Ryan would never do something like this. I mean, come on, Greenlee. How would he even know what the drug would do? Ryan didn't go to David that night intending to kill him. He didn't have time to research Digitalis. Then how do you explain me finding it in his jacket? I can't. 
Brian doesn't remember what happened that night. He was in that room with David. They got into a fight. He had that empty vial in his pocket. God, I hate this. I hate that my husband is dead, and I hate that the man who could have killed him is the guy that I love. Is that the word you were looking for? You know what I mean. You're a mess, OK? That's what I know. You're a complete mess. You're mourning David. You're falling back in love with Ryan. And you're taking everyone you know along for this crazy, ridiculous ride. Well, you know what? I want off. Do whatever you have to do. OK, well, right now, that means talking to Ryan. No, no, you can't. Why? Why not? Because Ryan doesn't remember what happened that night. If he finds out about that empty vial, he'll go straight to Jesse and end up right back in prison, away from his kids, away from everything. Please don't do it, Kendall. Please. OK, well, you better have some sort of a plan, Greenlee, OK? You can't keep this secret forever. Greenlee? Hi. Hi. How you doing? I've been better. Yeah. I understand. I mean, uh, I know things are complicated between you and David, to say the least. And, you know, with, with Ryan getting accused, it's kind of tough. I'm managing. Yeah. It's kind of funny, isn't it, him not being able to remember anything? Right now, I'd like to forget, too. I'm just out of curiosity, what do you think happened that night? Honestly, I don't know. And actually, I really have to go. Sure. Okay. Well, listen. Uh, if you if you need anything, you know, if, you, if you think of anything, I'm around. about this, Leo. The only one who'd understand. I know I married David for all the wrong reasons. But I really cared about him. I feel guilty. Like I let you down. <sighs> if Ryan killed your brother for me, what would you do about it? You loved him, too. You would do everything you could to protect him, right? Or maybe that's me trying to convince you, <laughs> just like always. If you see David, tell him. Tell him I'm sorry. Meet me at Ryan's now. What time? I got here as fast as I could. What's the big emergency? OK, let's say I believe you about Ryan poisoning David. Why? What did you find out? I was looking for something on his phone, and the list of his last few searches came up. OK. Well, one of them was enter the night of the murder. Digitalis poisoning death. So what do we do now? What do we do about what? 